Hello everyone, welcome to Tradeline. In today's video, I am going to share a powerful trading strategy using the Chanda Momentum Oscillator to help you guys take advantage of the short-term market swings. So be sure to watch the full video to make sure you don't miss anything. So I'll teach you what the strategy is and how to set it up. It's perfect for swing trading. This trading technique can be used on forks, stocks, cryptos, indices, or any other instrument that has significant volume and market players. So stay tuned till the end of the video. But first, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. First let us understand what is the Chanda Momentum Oscillator. The Chanda Momentum Oscillator is similar to the other momentum indicators, such as the RSI and the Stochastic Oscillator. It calculates the difference between the sum of all recent high and low closes, and divides the result by the sum of all price movement over a given time period. The result is multiplied by 100, to give a range of minus 100 to plus 100. Typically, the defined time period is 20 periods. So here this blue line is the CMO line. It shows us the real value of the Chanda Momentum Oscillator. It is also used to identify the overbought and oversold zones, just like the RSI and the stochastic indicator. When the CMO rises above the 50 level, it is considered an overbought area, and we expect the price to fall in the short term. Similarly, when the CMO falls below the minus 50 level, it is considered an oversold area, and we expect a short-term up move. So, when the CMO is overbought, a trader can enter a short position, and enter a long position when it is oversold. Although it's simple to choose any top or bottom and predict a market turn, but the markets can stay overbought or oversold for longer than you'd expect. In this video, we are not going to use CMO to find overbought and oversold zones. Rather, we are going to use it in a more effective way. So the way we're going to use it is, when the CMO line crosses the zero line from bottom to top, it's a valid signal to enter a long position. And when the CMO falls below the zero line, it is a signal to enter a short position. See in this chart, here the CMO rises above the zero line, indicates a buy signal. If we entered a long position here, then we would have actually earned a good profit here. However, here the CMO falls below the zero line, and we would have lost this trade if we had opened a short position here. So the main problem here is how do we avoid the false signals? The answer is quite simple. Trade in the direction of the main trend. So if the price is in an uptrend, we will only be looking for buying opportunities. And these buying opportunities will occur when the CMO rises above the zero line. We will ignore the sell signals at all times in an uptrend. Similarly in a downtrend, we will only look for selling opportunities. And these selling opportunities will occur when the CMO falls below the zero line. We will ignore the buy signals at all times in a downtrend. Now that we've covered the premise of our strategy, let's move on to the entry and exit rules. Here I've opened 1 hour chart of the Euro USD, but this strategy works equally well with 30 minute, 4 hour, daily chart, or any other time frame. Since this is a trend following strategy, we will be looking for short term pullbacks in an existing trend, and entering at the end of a pullback. To enter on pullbacks we first need to identify the existing trend. To do so we will use two moving averages. Here I am going to use a 50 period exponential moving average and a 100 period exponential moving average. Here on this chart, the white line is the 50 period EMA and the yellow line is the 100 period EMA. As you can see here the 50 EMA is currently above the 100 EMA and both the moving averages are sloping upwards, indicating an uptrend. So here we will only look for buy signals. And our buy signal is generated here, when the CMO crosses the zero line from bottom to top. We will enter a long position on the next candle here. And our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing low. And we will keep a profit target at the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. Now let's look at an example. Look at this chart. Here we can see that the price is trading above the 50 EMA. And the 50 EMA is above the 100 EMA. Both the moving averages are also sloping up, so we can clearly identify it as an uptrend. Now in an uptrend we want to look for buying opportunities, and our buy signal is generated here, when the CMO crosses the zero line from bottom to top. We will enter a long position on the next candle here, and our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing low. 
and we will keep a profit target at the risk-reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. And as you can see, the price easily hit our target. Here on this chart, the price is trading below the moving averages. The 50 period EMA is below the 100 period EMA, and both the EMAs are also sloped downwards. This clearly states that the price is in a downtrend. Now in a downtrend, we only want to look for sell opportunities. And our sell signal is generated here. When the CMO crosses the zero line from top to bottom, we will enter a short position on the next candle here. And our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing high. And we will keep a profit target at the risk-reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. And as you can see, the price easily hit our target. Here on this chart, the price is trading below the moving averages. The 50 period EMA is below the 100 period EMA, and both the EMAs are also sloped downwards. This clearly states that the price is in a downtrend. Now in a downtrend, we only want to look for sell opportunities, and our sell signal is generated here. When the CMO crosses the zero line from top to bottom, we will enter a short position on the next candle here, and our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing high and we will keep a profit target at the risk-reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. And as you can see, the price easily hit our target. So thank you guys for watching, and if you like the video then be sure to subscribe to our channel, so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. I'll see you in the next video.